Good evening, I am Lieutenant Colonel Travis Walters, W-A-L-T-E-R-S, the State Public Affairs Officer for the Texas Military Department. Thank you for being here today. In a few moments, Brigadier General Tracy, T-R-A-C-Y, Norris, N-O-R-R-I-S, the Deputy Adjutant General Army, and the Commanding General of the Texas Army National Guard will make a brief statement concerning the immediate deployment of our Guardsmen to the Texas-Mexico border. She will be joined by Colonel Wynn Burkett, the Texas Army National Guard State Aviation Officer. Immediately following the press conference, you will see one of our initial crews take off behind us and head to the border. I ask that you place your electronic devices on silent at this time. Uh, General Norris and us will be available for a few minutes uh, to answer your questions following her statement. Please keep your questions within the subject area of the upcoming deployment. All comments are on the record and should be attributed to the officer speaking. Toward the end, I will indicate how many more questions we have time for. Please limit yourself to one question and one follow-up. If time permits, we may call on you again for additional questions. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, Breeder General Tracy Norris. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. On Wednesday, President Trump announced the mobilization of the National Guard to the U.S.-Mexico border in support of the Department of Homeland Security. As a result, the Texas National Guard is preparing to immediately deploy with supporting aircraft, vehicles, and equipment to the Texas-Mexico border. These deployment activities are being co coordinated along with other southwest border states, and this mobilization supports the priorities of the governor and the president in securing our borders. With the authorization and under the authority of Governor Abbott, this deployment has begun with the movement of equipment and troops today. Within 72 hours, the Texas Military Department will have 250 personnel along with ground surveillance vehicles as well as light and medium aviation platforms. This initial phase of deployment will include command and control, coordination cells, and operational planning as requested in support of the federal entities already on the border. Follow-on forces will move to the border once mission requirements and locations are finalized. As early as tomorrow, notifications will go out to soldiers who will be called up as part of the follow-on phase. This notification will allow guardsmen, um, soldiers, and airmen to notify their families and employers in the preparation to report as early as next week. The Texas National Guard has operated along the Texas-Mexico border for decades in support of both state and federal agencies. The Texas National Guard is a force that is ready and trained with firsthand knowledge of this mission, the operating area, and a long-standing relationship with federal, state, and local law enforcement. This experience and coordination will allow us to continue our current state-directed border operations and supplement border security through this federal response. In July 2014, the governor activated 1,000 Texas National Guard troops on state active duty to the Texas southern border in support of Texas Department of Public Safety's Operation Strong Safety. This mission, now titled Operation Secure Texas, is still ongoing with service members from the Texas Military Department assigned in an observe and report role. I would like to thank the state of Texas and the employers of our Texas guardsmen and women for their continued support, which allows us to respond quickly to defend our state and nation. At this time, I will now open it up for questions. How many guardsmen total will be sent? Uh, it's a little premature to say what the total is. Currently, we are, we are sending planners, and we are already courting with Customs and Border Patrol, but we will be working with their planners as far as what the Department of Homeland Security requirements will be. Will they be armed? Who will be flipping the bill? Make good, 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 go ahead, right here. Who will be flipping the bill? Uh, this is a, is a federal response that is managed by the state. How much is Next. it going it is premature right now to know what the cost will be, uh, but again, working with the Department of Homeland Security and what their requirements are needed for us to support the Border Patrol um, is still uh, to be determined. Yeah, follow up, will they be armed? Right, right, right here, let's go right here first. I have the same question. Will they be armed and will they be able to make arrests? What, what will their duties be or their abilities 
So depending on the mission set, a soldier will be armed or soldier or airman will be armed for self-defense, but again, it will depend on the mission set and what the requirements are for the through the Department of Homeland Security. And will they be able to make arrests or search vehicles or homes? We are working with the Department of Homeland Security on what the requirements would be. And the National Guard, the Texas National Guard, uh, deploys in support of other federal and state agencies. So we will be in support of other federal and state agencies. Okay, Nick, so as let's go right here. Are you able to say how much the state spent last year, or last fiscal year, for deployments to the border, including for operations for Texas? Uh, currently, with the soldiers we have on the border right now, it's less than a million dollars a month. I don't have, I can, public affairs can get you the other numbers as requested. So when, when, when it comes to getting more detailed information for you, you can follow up with me afterwards on that. But let's go over here. Okay, yes, ma'am. It's premature to say what any differences are because we are working on the, what the requirements are need to be for the with the Department of Homeland Security and uh, the other federal and state entities on the border. Right, right, right here. Is this really necessary? Some studies show that border towns right now are the safest they have been in years. That's something currently I, I cannot talk to at this time. I just don't have that knowledge. How many Texas Guard troops are currently at the border before this uh, deployment started? Currently, we have approximately 100 soldiers on the border. And are they support? Yes, okay. they are in support. We have time for one more question. So, so the Everybody's others that are there now, they are in an observe and report role. But the, but the new personnel coming, they might have different orders? The requirements that the Department of Homeland Security needs in support of Customs and Border Patrol and other federal entities on the border will dictate what the difference will be. And you said 250 within the next 72 hours? Uh, yes. What parts of the border are you going to concentrate? So I think that's, that's about all the time that I have. And I'd like to thank everyone for coming out and enjoy the rest of your evening. And now I'm going to turn it back over to the Public Affairs Office. In a few minutes, uh, we will have uh, a launch of the uh, aircraft behind us uh, that will be deploying uh, to the, the border. I, I thank you for your time and attention today. If you have any additional questions, please follow up with me afterwards, and, and we'll try to get you uh, the answers that, that you may need. Thank you very much. Let's move the podium out of the way and so far. They, they're doing some preparation work right now, and before uh, they get ready to turn blades, I'll be, be quiet and get out of the way for. These are UH 72 LUH 72. So you asked a question about. Uh, the, the folks that are going down right now. So, and as we are in support of 
uh, other federal entities here, the Department of Homeland Security. Uh, we have initial planning teams that, that are going down right now uh, to, to get boots on the ground, interface with, with our partners that are operating on the border, and uh, to further determine those requirements that the Customs and Border Patrol uh, will have for us. Okay. In the past uh, number of years on the missions that she alluded to, we've only been in an observe and report role, uh, but we are still awaiting uh, more fidelity from uh, the Customs and Border Patrol and the Department of Homeland Security in what they will ask us to, to do. And so that, those things are being fleshed out right now. Did they determine that, or is that something the President So the Department of Homeland Security, uh, operating uh, under the executive branch of the government, is going to then determine what the requirements are, and then uh, they will give them to us, and with the consent of the governor, uh, we will move forward with, with whatever missions that, that they uh, deem as needed uh, to, to move forward. Absolutely. So uh, we are looking to go in what's called Title 32 status, and, and what that means is it is a federally funded mission but a state-controlled one in which we answer to the government. That's different than a deployment that we would do, which is a Title X status, where it's both federally funded and the National Guard would answer to the president. Can you tell us where they're going? So right now we are looking and sending planning cells uh, all across the border of Texas. So looking at, at the various sectors, uh, think about uh, an entire border response here on, on the, the southern border of Texas. And uh, the other states are, uh, I have to defer to, to what they're doing, but that's what we're doing here in Texas. Well, all that is at the beginning uh, this week is just to get some immediate response down there so that we can uh, better ascertain what needs to be done, look at the requirements, and then be able to bring in uh, a all right, everyone, you hear this Texas National Guard public affairs answer or uh, officer, public affairs officer, continuing to answer questions to local reporters out there. Little movement here from the photojournalist on scene, but we are being told that's because we're going to actually see a plane immediately deploy to Austin or to the. <laughs> Look at me getting all tripped up. Is it because it's Friday afternoon? <laughs> Almost quitting time, but not yet. Okay, so this plane is going to be leaving Austin, Texas, headed for the U.S.-Mexico border. Remember, this is all as a result of President Trump's order asking governors to ready the National Guard and send them to the border. You're watching News Now, part of Fox10Phoenix.com. Thanks for putting up with my tongue twisters all the time. The, the folks that we are in support of. Any, yes, any idea about We are ready to go. Uh, okay, so let, let, let me let me let the, the birds launch, and then I'll answer a few more questions okay. for you. Right. It will be just a few minutes there. You will see the blades start spinning up, and then they will lift straight off the ground. <laughs> I heard them say plane, and now we're watching helicopters. Helicopter. Yes. Dad, I do not know what all 
So the Texas-Mexico border is quite large. Did any of you hear which part of the border they're going? Are they going to the Rio Grande Valley? Are they going by Big Bend? Did anybody catch that? So while we're waiting here, some of you were asking or saying that it's time for us to wait and see what Arizona and New Mexico are going to do. I'm going to let you know the latest here. Arizona and Texas both announced today that they're preparing to deploy National Guard members to the U.S.-Mexico border in response to President Donald Trump's call for more border security. As you can see right here live, the Texas National Guard is doing that right here immediately. Arizona Governor Doug Ducey said about 150 Guard members would deploy next week. And the Texas Military Department, the umbrella agency over the Texas National Guard branches, said on its Twitter account that it would hold this news conference on its preparations. So here we are witnessing it live. President Trump told reporters yesterday that he wants to send about 2,000 to 4,000 National Guard members to the border to help fight illegal immigration and drug trafficking. New Mexico Governor Susana Martinez. I've interviewed her before when I worked in El Paso. Her office said today that it had not yet deployed any Guard members. The office of California Governor Jerry Brown did not respond to questions about whether it would deploy troops. This number lower than the roughly 6,000 National Guard members that former President George W. Bush sent in 2006 during another border security operation though more than the 1,200 Guard members President Barack Obama sent in 2010. Here we go.
We've got a viewer asking what airport they're at. All I know is that they're in Austin and liftoff is happening right now. Texas National Guard sending troops to the U.S.-Mexico border. And the birds are off, everybody, leaving Austin, Texas, which is the state capital, headed for the U.S.-Mexico border. You saw it live here on News Now, a part of Fox10Phoenix.com.